Yo, what's going on, guys? In today's video, we're talking about how to set up the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Pro Pack. Man, holy, it dropped. So excited to test it out, man. I'm gonna test it out right now. So, first things first, you're gonna head over to Zen Studio. Make sure everything is uh, update up to date. All right, your Zen, Zen Studio, all that stuff up to date. We're gonna click Zen right here. Before we start, I wanna explain the Patreon down in the description. I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you join and how to scroll through the Patreon. All right. First things first, guys, the tiers. So we have three tiers. Insane values tiers gives you the best value. So if I put out like an Amos's value, I'll put it on here. If I put a spreadsheet, I'll put it on here. Expect probably one, maximum two spreadsheet updates every week, and expect one to two values every other day. I just built a crazy team. So what is it? Is it October? In November, I'll be posting every single week so many value. You'll never see us anywhere else. Now, next tier is the God tier scripts. This is the most popular uh, tier. One of the most members over here. This is for the Zen shot, Pred aim, all the custom scripts, and you also get all the values, of course. Um, and the scripts are much better. You know, 100% much better. They're pretty much all like the game packs you get on Cronus, but they're just way better. All right, so make sure you check this one out. I'll definitely recommend this one. And then we have VIP lifetime. Right? It's a one-time payment. You pay, then you cancel. Then you get a lifetime access to the Discord. You get to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one benefits. All right, so these are the tiers. Now, look, when you join, okay? So I'm showing you what it looks like when you join. I just organized it because I just added this to Patreon recently. Now, I'm still organizing it right now. But once you join up, you can scroll down. The first post right here, you need to read this first. There's a bunch of videos. So you're going to click this. There's a bunch of videos. You're going to watch all the videos. And there's going to be a Discord link. You're going to join up the Discord. Now, over here will be the categories. Now, I still have to fix this, like I said, man, because I just finished uh, starting it. You can see COD aim assist, uh, COD spreadsheets, Zen master COD scripts, Apex scripts, Apex values. And you click the two more, you click this. See, Modern Warfare 2 scripts. So that's the, that's, that's the COD uh, MW2. And then you'll see in-game settings. So as you can see, man, we've got so much stuff. And I know this is only one post, one post, but I literally have to just organize it and I just haven't gotten to it. But anyways, look, I hope to see you guys joining, man. We've got so many members in here. And it's absolutely so worth it. I can guarantee you that, man. You also get access to the private Discord. And yeah, man, make sure you join up, boys. Thank you and take care. Here, where my mouse is, click newest and COD Modern Warfare 22 Pro, the Pro Pack, man. So when you click and drag it, if the menu doesn't pop up, you're going to click the number four. This will pop up. So button layout, guys, I play default. So literally just click default. Trigger dead zone to match it in game. Leave mine at 13. That's the that's the base value, man. Just leave it at 13. Now you want to look through all of these things and make sure they match. Alright, so jump is cross slash A, cross is X, slide is circle slash B, interact is square, next web, which make sure everything's correct. This looks correct. Ping is up D pad. Perfect, man. Now look. There's a very important part that I need you guys to really pay attention on. All right. If you watch my previous video, I said, man, the best input dead zone is around 10 to 15. But this one says 10. So we're going to put your in-game dead zone to 10. Okay. Now, six sensitivity is your in-game sensitivity, your horizontal and vertical. You're just going to go and match that in in-game settings. So I play 5-5. Five, five. If you play 5-5, five, five, roll with that. All right. Now, max input, leave it at 99. Response curve, keep it standard. Okay. Standard is the best, 100%. And then that's pretty much it. Leave this disabled. When you move down, this is if you have elite. Um, I think if you have a uh, the paddles. All right. Now I don't have the paddles, but I just wouldn't even mess with this man. I don't. I don't think it's even worth messing with. So now we have the global mods. Okay. Let's look at what we have. We have auto focus, block rumble, dive jump, dive sprint, rapid melee. All right. Now we will test out all of these. In another video so i can't really tell you exactly what they do but autofocus i'm not really i'm actually not really sure so if you do know what these uh, what these do make sure you comment them down, comment down below in the comment section of course um and yeah man let me know i'm gonna test this out right now because i actually just saw that they updated this so i haven't even tested the pack yet but i know the pack is gonna be absolutely insane man trust me normally the pro packs are always the best and the community packs are like the second best i like the pro packs the more the most so the next thing we're going to use is hair triggers. So hair triggers, I like using them on both triggers because why not? You know, literally, there's just no reason to not do that. All right. Now, active aim assist mod. Sorry, active aim mod 
Sorry, we're gonna make it aim assist. I just got it confused. So active aim mod is aim assist. Now you want the activation to be on any ADS, okay? Any ADS, uh, and I guess just leave this turbo mod to delay at fifty. Now aim assist intensity is very important. I always like to keep mine at thirteen. This is the best value. Make sure your keyboard is at thirteen. What we're gonna turn on is this regular aim assist. Now look. I see the added rotational aim is I will have to test this out. If it's good, I'll drop another video. So make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you guys are staying tuned for the other videos because I will be making multiple videos on this game pack. Now for anti-recoil mode, you want to keep it on off enemy. Off enemy is the best way to go. You can even read the description. Uh, you want to use anti-recoil is better for long range combat. You know, similar to my game pack, we, we made it for uh, long range combat. Weapon swap mode, keep it on automatic. Now, guys, this is the important part. So if you guys don't know already, I will make a spreadsheet with values that you can literally adjust the value over here, the vertical and horizontal. Uh, and it's literally going to be a spreadsheet for sensitivities 5 to 11. I'll be posting this probably tomorrow. So I'm going to be grinding on it very fast, finishing very fast for the members of the Patreon. But what you guys want to do over here is, so normally what I like to do is leave loadout 1 on regular fire. So... What this does is it gives you kind of like a safety net. So let's say you set up your values, all right, and then you don't like it. You want to have a loadout one with regular fire so you can just have like your aim is still working. Sorry, aim is still working, but you know, anti recoil will be back to normal. So I'd like to skip loadout one, head over to loadout two, and when you click primary weapon, you can choose any weapon, they have all the weapons. Okay, so let's choose the M4. Now, what you want to do here is select the vertical and then the horizontal. Okay, so I will teach you guys how to test the anti recoil yourself later with your controller. But for now, if you have the value, which will be in my description tonight, you can just put in the value. All right, so let's say it's like the values is vertical 15, horizontal 5. That's all you're going to do. Make it like that. Secondary, normally people will just use like pistol for secondary, so you can just leave secondary regular fire. And yeah, then you can do it for loadout 3, loadout 4, and yeah, there's only 4 loadouts. Alright, however, you guys can adjust it with your controller, and I will teach you how to do that in the next video, okay? So, next video is going to be how to adjust the game back with your controller. I'm just only doing it with the computer right now, and next will be the controller, okay? That's a little bit longer. Now, over here, guys, literally leave this all on basic. Man. These don't really make, these are just like, I don't know, it's irrelevant. It's literally irrelevant. Don't adjust any of these values because when they're like this, the script works fine. So if it's not broken, don't fix it. Man. That's pretty much it. Uh, and then, man, that's, that's the whole game pack setup. It's very simple, very fast. Now, you do have to adjust your values. You know, you have to test your anti recoil values, but Pro Pack always has the best value so hopefully they did it good you're gonna click close then you're gonna click program device now that is the full setup guys literally that's it so simple so fast and in my next video like i said i will show you how to set it up with your controller okay make sure you guys stay tuned man thank you so much for the love and supporting the channel and take it easy